Congratulations. Oh my goodness, you were so awesome in this. And thanks. What was your initial reaction when Catherine gave you this script? Because it's such a gorgeous vision. It's yeah, I mean it's a it's a fairy tale that they took they they took away some parts of the fairy tale to make it a grounded as grounded as they could make it with a supernatural element into a, a movie, a feature length movie. And this is more for like young adults. So we had to add all these elements to it. So I, I was a little bit, I, I resisted a little bit in the beginning because I thought, first of all, the responsibility of playing such an iconic character is, um, it's stressful. And then, and then, you know, how, how is this going to work? Like, what's the script going to be like? Or what, what are they going to do with, with all this, these elements that they could use? And I read the script and I was like, oh my God, I have no idea who the wolf is. This is genius. And, and then I, and then I, you know, I met with Catherine and, she had all these visuals, these drawings and these photos and these cutouts and, and videos that I, um, it was obvious to yeah, me. Yeah, it just made it real for you. Yeah. What was the, your favorite fairy tale growing up? What did your parents read to you? Um, I liked The Stinky Cheese Man and other and fairly stupid stories mm -hmm. because it, it was like mocking them. It was like a satire about, you know, each one. And I, I didn't, I was very scared of the, the stories, so I liked I like that they became kind of actually morbid and funny in this book because Jack and the Beanstalk scared the crap out of me. Really? And Why that Huntsville. one? I, because I had tapes of all of them and even Red Riding Hood and, and, and I had used to listen to them at night. And I think they were, they were meant to scare little children into doing the right thing and they did, they scared me. Maybe it was the voice on the tape, in, in the actual cassette tape or maybe it was just yeah. my, my, my vision of it is just, uh, it was, was twisted and scary. Do you think it's important to update? Um, you look at all the fairy tales that are written hundreds and hundreds of years ago, and they're so old-fashioned. Do you think it's important to bring them up for modern audiences? Um, in a way, yeah. You can always do a coming-of-age thing with it because it's always about this young damsel. Um, for the most part, I mean, Jack and the Beanstalk. They're the young somebody, and uh, that's usually pretty young dealing with these crazy circumstances and learning lessons through, you know, along the way. And the, the lessons are pretty big and pretty obvious. So it's, it's, it's hard. I mean, I think it's a good idea that people are bringing them to the big screen. Mm -hmm. And I think the reason we all know these fairy tales, no matter how old we are, where we're from, is because there's just something about them that, that it's like a fairy tale. It's like a, a I don't know, it's just some kind of dreamlike world and we have such incredible imaginations as kids that we connect to these. Exactly. What was your first reaction when you saw yourself in that beautiful cloak? Um, I thought, boy, my nose looks big. Um, I took a picture of it though, a profile shot on my camera and with the cloak on during pre-production when we were doing the fitting for it. It was cool. It's beautiful. It's a you, I mean, there's so many different colors and things going on in that cave. They've, it's been worked on. It was worked on for months. Yeah. yeah. yeah so. Made by some women in Vancouver, I understand. Yeah, sewing circle. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. What is it, um, Amanda, about Catherine Hardwick? Why does she get you young actors? She just gets it. I think that she's a youngster herself in many ways. Her spirit is young. The essence of her is, like, unmatched. She's, I mean, she walks around with a backpack and sneakers and... Um, I don't know, she just has this youthful vibe. She's just full of energy and life and passion and and she wants to, and she wants to inspire young audiences to be in love and to connect to their that's that sexual part of themselves and that, you know, and find out figure out who they are and and it's amazing. Like she's, she's almost like a teacher. Like she wants to like I don't know, she wants to penetrate that. Yeah. I think that's amazing. I she's, do too. She's yeah. wonderful, really. Yeah. Um, working with somebody like Gary Oldman, I, I mean, he's just unbelievable. But I understand that he is pretty well one of the funniest people you've ever worked with. Yep. What was it like he to just... He is the funniest person I've ever worked with. Was it hard to keep a straight face yep. opposite of him? <sighs> yeah, because we were doing a lot of action stuff and like, it was ridiculous. Like, pretending that there was a wolf in front of us and him yelling at it with a sword and me being like... <laughs> and it was just like... Ridiculous. It was ludicrous at times. Yeah, but fun. And tiring, but fun. And the <laughs> fact is, we always manage to have fun. Yeah. Um, no matter how hot it got, or how frustrating it got, or how much uh, energy we needed that we didn't have at that time of night. 
he, he would be like really serious. And then he was wearing this extra mustache and he couldn't laugh correctly because he had this bearded mustache on. Like so he would laugh, like the way he, it's just one of my favorite memories is watching him break out into laughter, like really serious and being like, <laughs> I get so, it was just one of my favorite things. It just warmed me. There's um, a lot of young ladies out there that are going to be extremely jealous of you. But, you know, my heart bleeds that you have Shiloh and Max fighting over you in this film. Totally. Uh, tough life for you, huh? Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, got, I got to be, no, I'm just kidding. Um, I got to make out with both of them. I got to make out with Max during uh, auditions, and I got to make out with Shiloh a lot throughout the movie. It's tough being method, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, listen, it's my job, and uh, I'm really like I'm very grateful. <laughs> I mean, because they're very, they're very, very good-looking guys. Yeah, not too bad. They also happen to be really sensitive and sweet and kind and caring and and, and aware. What more could you ask for? Um. <laughs> you just have to think about that for a minute. Huh? Right. <laughs> um, I'm a huge Big Love fan. Are we going to see you in the finale? Yes. Was it fun being back with everybody? Yeah. Yeah. Didn't feel like anything changed. Yeah. I mean, we take such long hiatuses anyway, sometimes a year long hiatus. And so it didn't feel like I missed a season. It just felt like we were starting over again. Yeah. Except everyone was melancholy. Yeah, it's that. It's sad. It's a long time that show was on. It was great. Um, and now you're working with Justin Timberlake, and I have to ask you, I am, and I tell you this every time I talk to you, that you, I'm a huge fan of your voice. I want you to put Thanks. out a CD. And you've uh, let this music thing kind of slip and slide. I'm not a happy Tonight, just, I okay. will be in the recording studio. Really? Are we talking about a I'm CD? Or? Record, no, I'm recording that song by Sam the Sham and the Pharaohs. Hey there, little red riding. But it's a little riff on it. Um, I'm doing it for fun. It may be used in the DVD. It may be put on the soundtrack. It may be put on the internet. I'm not really sure what's going to happen with it, but I always find a way to incorporate my singing into something. Good. Are we going to hear a duet with Justin anytime soon? Um, I think that he would never want that. Are you insane, girlfriend? I'm really sure that he would never want that. We never talked about me and my singing. It was just never really a thing that I ever want to discuss. But, but um, God, his voice is um, un like unreal. Like I'm, I'm really jealous of, of jealous of his vibrato because I. I tried so hard to, to master that when I was doing classical music, and I, I never mastered it. Well, you are terrific, really are, and uh, let me know Thanks. when that CD is on its way, okay? All right. We'll be back in Toronto Thanks. soon. Good talking to you. Thank Good you. Good talking to you, too. All right,